hello, here's your workout. So what we're gonna do is three different sets of exercises with two exercises in each set. And we're gonna do them twice. So, and then in between each set, we're gonna do a quick cardio exercise just for 30 seconds. And that's it. So let's start with a warm up. Let's just start by tapping and bringing one arm on top of the other. Just swinging those arms and starting to get the heart rate going up a little bit. Get your breathing going and just breathe freely. And turn on any music you might want to get going with you if you haven't turned on any music yet. Just to pump you up, girl. And let's flatten out the feet, make sure that they're parallel. And we'll just let the arms go and twist through the torso. Nice and easy. Letting the arms go, starting to warm up to the core and the shoulders. And just keep that up, just two more. And last one. Now let's reach for the ceiling and do some knee pulls. Just alternating back and forth. Pulling your elbows down towards your hips and your knee up towards your chest. Start to breathe a little deeper. You might feel your heart rate starting to come up even more with this one. Four more. Three, two, and one. And now we're going to do an active quad stretch. So bring one arm out to the side, grab the shoelaces, pull, and then relax and switch sides. Make sure that your knee is not coming out to the side as you go, but that you're keeping the knees parallel. And so that way we're getting a good stretch through the front of the leg and we're not letting the IT band pull us out to the side. And then you're not really getting that great of a stretch. So just four more here. Three. And two more, and last one. Good, now we're gonna reach right hand across left foot, or left cross right, for a nice hamstring and calf stretch. So you're pulling your toes towards you as you alternate right and left. You should feel yourself starting to get nice and warm getting ready for this workout. Let's do four more. Three and two and last one. Now we're going to warm up our squats. So you want to again bring your feet parallel. Keep your chest and shoulders back so you might need to roll your shoulders back a little bit. And we're just going to sit your butt back behind you then squeeze up to stand. Down and then squeeze your butt like you're pinching a penny, slightly pushing your pelvis forward, down and up. Six more of these. Five, four, three, just two more, and last one here. Now we're gonna stretch out through the hips a little bit Grabbing the shins, pull up. Grabbing the shin and pull. So make sure that you're not grabbing at the foot and then taking your foot out of line with your ankle. You wanna grab and pull up a little bit and grab and pull up a little bit and that's just gonna keep your body in proper kinetic chain alignment. Good, just do a couple more. So two more from here and last one here. Good. Now we'll just do a nice and easy little jog. You can even do a boxer, boxer shuffle if you like. Just bringing those heels up. And we're going to be here for 20 more seconds. And then we're going to do our first weighted circuit. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so let's get started. I'm getting a little warm, so I'm going to take my sweater off. We're going to start, you said you had eight pound weights, so we're going to start with those. I have eight pound weights right here, and I'm going to demonstrate first, and then we're just going to do it. So coming down to the floor, you're going to bring your heels 
heels up and those weights up towards the ceiling. You want to pull your belly button in and away from the waistband of your pants and you're going to pull the weights down and then push up and away. So that's the demo. Now we'll do 10. So it's down and up. One and two. Breathe, pull your belly button in. Three and four and five. Six, seven, eight, two more to go. Make sure those knees are not coming over this way, but nice and 90 degree. This is your last one. And good. So now placing the weights down by your side, we're going to move into a bridge. So just coming up and then releasing your hips back to the floor. Bring your arms up over your chest, reach and release. So you wanna make sure that your weight is back in your heels and that your toes are, they could even lift up at the top of your shoes or they're completely off, off the floor. You wanna make sure you're squeezing your glutes at the top of the work like you're pinching a penny and the reason why we have our hands up towards the ceiling is so that we can't put any pressure in the arms to help us come up. Let's do two more. And last one here. Squeeze, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Now take a moment to breathe. And in a second, what we're gonna do is grab our weights, our dumbbells again. So picking those weights up, just making sure that we're recording still. <laughs> okay, we are. Okay, so picking these weights up, we're gonna pull the knees up. So making sure they're not too far back, but they're right over your hips. We're gonna come down and then press up. That's one and two. Abs in nice and tight, you wanna make sure that your back is flat against the floor. You wanna make sure that you're not letting your back arch up off the floor, and that way we're getting some good ab work as well. We have five more. Four, use your breath, three, and two. And last one here. Good, and now drop your weights. Bringing those arms up overhead, we're gonna pull our hips up towards the ceiling. I almost said crunch. Squeeze and release. Nice bridges here. Three and four. Squeeze the glutes at the top. You can always pause this at any time if you need to take a break. That's fully okay. Seven, eight, and if you're not feeling it in your butt or in your hamstrings in the back of your legs, walk your heels closer back towards you. You also wanna make sure that your knees aren't coming out to the sides, but that you have like a small ball width between your knees. That's it. So now we're gonna move into a quick and easy cardio exercise. It might not be easy, but it'll be quick. Um, we're gonna do some mountain climbers, but we're gonna keep them. Uh, we're gonna keep them low impact, so we're not gonna jump them unless you want to. You can do that. So um, we're gonna hold up into a plank, and you're just gonna pull in one at a time, one knee at a time. Okay. Breathing, and go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. I'm gonna count down from 20 here. 20, 19. 18, 17, 16, you can always jump it, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, so that's our first set. Now we're going to move into our second weighted set. Grab some water. I'm going to grab some too. Take a second.
Okay. So we got a sip of water. It's important to keep hydrated in your workout. So we're gonna start our next exercise with a one arm row and we're gonna do 10 sets. I'm sorry, 10 reps per set. So coming forward, we're gonna row up and then come back down. That's your demo. So putting the weight in the heel of your front foot, this back heel you can't really see, is up off the floor. Hopefully you can see it now. You're gonna lean forward slightly, pull your belly button in and away from the waistband of your pants. You can use this other hand, this back hand, to rest it on the thigh, and we're gonna come up and then back down. One, and release. So you wanna make sure that the inner part of your arm is really close to the side of your body, side of your torso. Let's do four more, three, two more, and last one here. Good. Now we're gonna switch sides. So coming over, left foot in front, or whatever foot, actually, it doesn't really matter. We're doing both sides. For me, it's left right now. We're leaning forward slightly, putting the weight of your left hand or your right hand, if your right foot is forward, into that thigh. We're gonna lean forward, we're gonna row, and then release. Two, and release. Three, use your breath. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, and last one here. That's it. Now we're gonna do some reverse lunges. You can hold both weights in both hands down by your sides or hold the weight up here at your chest. I'd suggest that for starting. And we're just gonna do basic reverse lunges and we're gonna do 14 reps, so seven per side. So you're gonna step back, bring your knee towards the floor and then come on up. Two, three, four. You wanna think about keeping your chest up and your shoulders back. So we're not letting the weight round at our shoulders as we go. So that means we're not rounding over, right? We're keeping our chest up and back. Good. Let's do four more. Four, three, two more, and last one here, and that's it. Let's take a rest. Drop the weight, shake out your legs. Take a sip of water if you like. And we're gonna get started with those rows again. So grabbing one weight in your hands. You're gonna lean into that back leg. Keep your back flat so we're not rounding at the back. We're flattening it out and we're pulling the belly button in and away from the waistband of your pants. We're gonna row up one and then release. Two, you also wanna keep your gaze right out in front of you so you're not cranking your neck up like this. You're keeping your neck in line with your spine. We have five more, four, three, just two more to go, and this is your last one. And that's it. Now we switch sides. So leaning forward, legs to roll up, one, and release. And two, abs in really tight. Three, flat back. Four, weight in the heel of your front foot. Five, pulling that arm really close to you as you go so you're not flaring your elbow out. This is eight. We have two more. And last one here, breathe and release. Now we're gonna do those reverse lunges. So holding the weight up at your chest, stepping right back in three, two, and one. Back and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, halfway there, seven more. And six, 
and five, four, three, just two more, and last one here. That's it, good. Go ahead and put your weight down. And we're gonna do modified burpees next. So all you're gonna do, we're gonna just do 10 reps of these. So you're gonna come down to the floor, step out, out, in, in, and stand, that's one. Out, out, in, in, two. Out, out, in, in, three. Keep it up. Four. <sighs> Breathing. Five. <sighs> Six. Seven. Try to squeeze your glutes as you come up to stand. Eight, nine, last one here, and 10. Good. Now we take our last break before we move into our last weighted circuit. Grab your water, take a break. We're at 16 minutes, we're getting close to the end. So, we're going to do a basic bicep curl. So, feet are about parallel. We're gonna hold the arms out and then pull the biceps, squeeze the biceps and pull the weights up to the shoulders. That's our demo, okay? So here we go. One, and release. And two, we're just gonna go to 10 and three now while we're doing this we're still thinking about pulling our belly buttons in and away from the waistband of our pants squeezing the glutes tight like you're pinching a penny nice and tight <sighs> curl your wrists towards you curl we just have two more <sighs> and we have one last one here and that is it. So now we're gonna work those opposing muscles. We're gonna do skull crushers. So I would suggest for your first time doing this, just using one weight. You can also use two if you like. And we're gonna hold up into a bridge again to get some more work in those glutes. And we're gonna hold this weight up overhead. All you're gonna do is bend the elbows, bring the weight right to the forehead, and then push up and away. So that's, this is one, squeeze up, down two, and up, and three. And keep going, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with two of these, like so. So if you have two dumbbells, you wanna bring the weights right towards your ears and pressing away. So with just one, we have weight right to the forehead. So let's do about two more. You can also pull over the head if you like. You might feel some more work if you pull right at the crown of the head. And that's it. Okay, so we're gonna get up. We're gonna do those bicep curls and the skull crushers one more time. And then we're to our cool down. So that's all you have to do for today. So let's bring the feet parallel. Finishing this strong strong bicep curl okay that's our demo so let's start now one squeezing our butts really tight belly button in that's two squeeze three and four big squeeze five six breathe seven don't hold your breath. Make sure you're oxygenating your muscles all throughout this workout. Last one here. And control. So with these bicep curls too, you want to make sure you're controlling the weights down and there's no swinging as you go, right? Because that really is just all about momentum. There's no control or bicep work in that. So 
Our last exercise before we cool down, we're going to do our skull crushers. So hips up high. We're going to bring that weight either right at the crown of the head or right at the forehead. There's our demo. So let's start now. Here we go. Down and up and two. And remember with this bridge, we want to make sure that we're keeping our weight in our heels. We're keeping our hips high. Squeezing the glutes, try not to let those hips sag as you go. Try to keep them up high the entire time. Keeping the knees parallel, make sure that it's like you have, let's say, the width of an orange or a small soccer ball. Thinking of Declan's small soccer ball. We're going to do one last one here. Down and up. Good. Let's, since we're on the floor already, let's start our cool down here. So we're just going to stretch our arms up over our heads and legs long, kind of like we are being pulled in opposite directions. It's like we have some ropes on our wrists pulling one way and then the other way with the feet. Arch the back up off the mat or floor. And then we're going to cross the left ankle over the right thigh and reach under that right thigh for a figure four stretch. So we're stretching through the glute, through your butt muscle. We just did a lot of glute work, so just getting nice and stretched there. Nice deep inhales and exhales as we start to cool down. Now let's switch sides. So right ankle over left thigh, pulling towards you with that left leg. Also check in with your shoulders. Make sure you're not putting any extra tension in those shoulders. Nice big inhale and exhale. Let's pull both knees into the chest, both the knees into the chest. We're just going to rock right to left, massaging the lower back. It's just a nice little rock. Then we're going to bring the right foot flat on the floor and extend the left leg to the ceiling, grabbing behind the hamstrings. We're going to flex the foot towards you and then point your leg. So flex and then point. Flex and point. Two more, and last one. Now just hold that flexed foot, and you can always extend that bottom leg down if you feel comfortable doing that. Nice deep inhales and exhales. And let's switch sides. So pulling that knee into the chest, let's extend the leg up to the ceiling. We're going to flex the foot and then point it away. Flex and then point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Last one. Now pull. If you want, you can always pull a little deeper into this stretch as well by reaching for the calf. Release. Okay, and you can pull out of that one. Now we're coming onto all fours. We're going to do a cat cow stretch. So you're bringing your back flat belly button in. You want to make sure your wrists are beneath your shoulders and we're going to arch the back up to the ceiling. Exhale and then inhale, drop the belly button to the spine. Look out in front of you. So a nice big exhale, looking up towards your belly button and then inhale, drop the belly button to the floor, releasing through the abs and then one more big exhale, arch up. Inhale. From here, keep that dip into your spine and we're going to press back into a downward dog. You're just going to pedal the feet back and forth here, stretching through the calves and just press both heels into the floor. Now look behind you, let your head go, belly button in, pulling that belly button in and away. Bend the knees slightly, walk your hands back to your feet, release over for a forward fold. Let your shoulders go. You know, tuck your chin to your chest and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Let's roll the shoulders back. 
Roll the shoulders forward. Let those arms go, swing. Now let's hold into a shoulder stretch on one side. Breathe, you can look over that shoulder if you like. And then switch. And now we're gonna bring the palm in between the shoulder blades and you're gonna pull right behind your elbow and you can also pull into a side body stretch for our tricep and side body stretch. Come up out of that and again, putting the palm in between the shoulder blades, grabbing back behind the elbow to stretch through the triceps and then we can add that side body stretch if you like. Breathe. Come back up, let the arms go, roll the shoulders back, forward, pull the shoulders up to the earlobes, inhale, and then exhale. That's it, you did it. Congratulations, you made it. Let me know what you think about it. Okay, bye.